Okay, hey everyone, it's Saturday, it's go day, it is real estate day. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm up to today. So we're gonna go to an auction. I'm selling a property in um, Barker Place in Karanup and there's a property on Tone Place in Karanup that's up for auction today. Both, you know, 70s homes, big blocks, big family homes. Um, so I'm um, gonna go check that out because right now it's really difficult to put a price on how much homes are. This morning I had a meeting with, uh, sorry, you know, a, over the phone meeting with a client that I had his property on in July in Wembley Downs and I'm pushing to go to auction because that property since July, we took it off because his next home wasn't ready yet so we have to wait. It's going to be ready now next month. Um, so we're going to go to, we're going to sell it and it's already gone up about 75%. So it's really, really hard to pinpoint how much a home, a family home in um, and around, you know, the Western suburbs um, is going to go for. So um, auction is where I think it's going to go. What I'm going to do is we're going to go to an auction. Um, we're going to see uh, what it's like I know that this house they're looking at around 1.35 they think they're gonna get so it'll be interesting to see where we land um, so I'll film bits and pieces of the auction and then we'll see where it ends up um, so after that I've got a few other home opens for the day but most importantly today is Australian Open Day so go Ash go the special K's also um, Matt Ebden is a WA boy in particular a Wembley Downs boy and a Hale boy so that's going to be super exciting cannot wait to watch that tonight so charcut board champagne let's sit down and watch that that's going to be amazing so have a fantastic day it's another 38 degree day today oh my god in perth so it's beautiful but super hot so um have a look at the video and then my analysis at the end have an awesome day bye okay this was actually a uh, the auction i actually videoed it all but didn't have the audio on um yeah so oopsie Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm at my final home open. So before I open, I thought I'd quickly do an analysis on that. How stupid, no audio. Um, so I just quickly zoom through it. Um, you would have seen as I was walking up, there were so many cars, loads and loads of people there. Um, the auction did a great job. It was a 70s style home, pretty much untouched, um, had great views of the city. When I spoke to the agent, early on in the month he was like well 1.3 don't know we'll see um but the house ended up selling for 1510 so 1 million five hundred and ten thousand so it got well over well over what they had expected and the reason being there was at least 10 people registered i'd saw 10 paddles um a few familiar faces because i am selling barker so there was a few, few people there um and then consequently they came through as well my uh, nine barker place um four people that eventually put their hands up bidding started at 1.2 and went up in increments of 50,000 and then then you know one person got it um so it definitely was um a great call to to um auction that there isn't a lot of big family homes so my analysis on that which is happening everywhere is there are any family homes so there's everyone that comes through my properties are all families young families families with teenagers families looking for bigger homes and what's holding it all up at the moment are gigantic homes with one two people living in it so retirees that um you know it's time to move on and they can't find somewhere or they're just frozen like covid frozen so if you can imagine um like an inverted pyramid um they're here at the top and there's all these families at the bottom and they're just clogging it up at that level um so i think auctions is most definitely the way to go until um those people sitting on those gigantic properties um either move on to apartments or find the smaller properties they're looking for um or find a safe way to do it 
um, where they feel they're not going to be turfed out on the street. Um, so yeah, that was my analysis. I thought that the female auctioneer was fantastic. Haven't seen one ever in WA. Okay, that's it. I'm going to open this property and then, um, yeah, move on with my Saturday. Anyone has questions about auctions and the costs and what's involved, um, don't hesitate. Give me a call. Bye.